Welcome to the exciting and new podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. And I'm Brian. Let's do this. Brian's still not being able to figure out how to <laughs> What is going on with your... <laughs> like, I don't get why it's so hard to do numbers with you. That was a different... One, two, three. I did three. a different thing. First and you yeah, totally <laughs> fucked it up still. You were like... The starting from the five claw. had Andy all confused, too, <laughs> Apparently, at first. Apparently not having a prostate makes you not Ta- be able to put your... Saying some up. of the numbers, not all the numbers. Are you doing it with your dominant hand? Your snapping hand? <laughs> oh, no. But he can't snap, right? Oh, you can't snap with your right hand, right? Even uh, your yeah, right maybe hand. I should. Let's see. And you are right-handed. Five. It, correct four three you're making like <laughs> wait are you right or left-handed i'm right-handed i don't get it's what's going on there i don't but like it's like at first i thought maybe you had a nervousness because the five went like this i was like <laughs> okay it's like i think i was in trying to bend his fingers it won't bend when he, when he was doing it, he was at three it was, it was the, <laughs> like the finger bounced <laughs> this week we just watched the little movie called night shift Rated R, released on July 30th, 1982, directed by Ron Howard. Running time was an hour and 46 minutes. Um, Ron Howard, I mentioned, this is his first major Hollywood studio picture. He had done a... Uh, I was going to ask that. Is this his first yeah, movie? It, his first um, big, movie? big studio movie. Had he, he like done other movies? Yeah, had he, he done did, episodes of Happy He directed... Days and- um, uh, a movie called Grand Theft Auto in 1977 for Roger Corman. Oh, really? It was a Roger Corman movie. Is that and any it, relationship to the uh, the video game Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> <laughs> um, but there was a lot uh, of uh, people from uh, Happy Days in that movie as well. Okay. So, yeah, which is pretty neat. Um, I have his top four here. Um, Ron Howard's top four. Yes. <clears throat> and now as a director or as an see, actor i got one two two is a producer one is an actor one is a director two is a producer yeah. well one of those i'm going to say is arrested development that a producer is a producer oh. i don't know arrested development um, and also a uh voiceover a voiceover yeah, but yeah. also producer. producer yeah um i'm gonna say the acting role <sighs> there's two it's richie cuttingham or Opie, one of the two. It's got to be Richie Cunningham. It's neither. It's For Steve. TV? Yeah, it's Steve. From? American Graffiti. No, but that's a movie. Yeah. That oh, oh, a- oh, right. Uh, actor, right. Actor, actor and yeah. then director. Yes. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My, my bad, my bad. I was my like, bad. wait a minute. I, I thought like, you were divided. I, thought, I was like, I was trying I to think, what did I say? I was like, nah, did I say no, something No, I fucked wrong? it up. I fucked it up. You, you said <laughs> you had me actor confused. and like, director ah. and producer. I was, I was like, putting what did you TV. say now, Jason? <laughs> in my brain, I was putting TV and movies in different categories. So. Yeah, so it's... Uh, so American Graffiti. Arrested Development and Steve from American Graffiti. So we got one for director and one more for producer. One more for director, one more for producer. I mean, the producer one, I couldn't even. Oh, 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 oh. See, see. Like Apollo 13 or something like that? Did he produce that? He directed it. Did he direct that? Yeah. Is oh, that, yeah, the, that's is that his top director four, one? Andy. I was that's thinking, good. I, I really wow. thought Splash was going to be his director. Andy, that was thing. good. <laughs> that, but I, I don't know the producer, the other producer one. I want to see if get. he direct. I think he directed this other one as well. Let me just confirm it. I mean. Oh, that might matter then. Is it? Splash. Uh, yeah, he directed it as well. <laughs> he did direct. He directed and produced it. So, oh, it's not something like Star Wars solo movie, is it? No, it's Good, a Beautiful Mind. Uh, oh, he did Beautiful Mind. He did. Oh. Local celebrity in my town. I knew that guy. He oh, walked yeah. up and down my street every day. That guy. This really? is the Russell um, Crowe guy. Yeah. This movie here is streaming everywhere, pretty much, but uh, for two dollars and ninety nine cents. I watched it for free on YouTube. <laughs> oh, what Night Shift is two ninety nine everywhere? Pretty much everywhere. I, did not, yeah. I, I I watched. I cheated. I pirated it. I, I, I watched it for free on YouTube. Yeah, if I had known it was on YouTube, I would just watch it on YouTube. I, I, had I texted it. you, but you had already um, watched it the okay. night before. So yeah, yeah, I think I downloaded it. Yeah. yeah. Listen, Amazon, a- Apple. All you guys, if you made it available on your streaming services, I would watch them on your services. All the time. This is another example of you just not having it available to me. 
what what is my recourse here? What is my recourse? If you don't make it available to me, I have to use illegal measures. How about a, how about a sponsorship? Amazon, it's Apple. It's not my fault. Right? Like, An Amazon sponsorship? How great would that be? I don't understand why they can't just have it available. They have, uh, Amazon has 10 million movies available to download for three ninety nine. Grease fucking 2 was available for three ninety nine. dollars you still have that? I don't is, even is know. It's it 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 been 30, 30 days, days up? <laughs> but, like, why isn't Night Shift? Why isn't um, Porky's? Why isn't uh, Last, American, Last American Virgin? Virgin? I don't get it. I don't understand. Why is Last Zap, American Virgin Zap, left to be, I, like, non-existent? Like, it never existed. Yeah. Like, you can't find it anywhere. Zap, like, I had to know? watch like, my oh, wife's yeah. DVD <laughs> with the fucking box, the black box around it. <laughs> I had a 70-inch screen with a 30-inch visual. I don't get it. Yeah. Amazon, get on that. Boo to you, Amazon. <laughs> Listen, love the boys. Everything else sucks. Yeah, come on. Get some and shitty 80s, also, 80s movies love, on your love service. Love your feature where you just push up and you see who's on that scene. That I is such that. a great thing. Oh, that's so good. Such a great X-ray, thing. X-Ray, I think it's called. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. So good. Um, the Amazon, IM- listen. You're all good in my <laughs> eyes. You can do no wrong. Take over the world. Just like, we're, just, I'm, we're, we're nitpicking. You know? nit, I'm picking the nits. <laughs> um, IMDB description here is a, a mild-mannered... Excuse me, a mild mannered morgue attendant is assigned to the night shift, and his new co worker, along with his prostitute neighbor, <laughs> convince him of running a prostitution ring out of the morgue. Hmm. Interesting. You know, <laughs> whether it's Tom Cruise in Risky Business or Henry Winkler in Night Shift. These guys think it's so easy just to run a prostitution ring out of their place of business. <laughs> and or Richard home. Belzer will show you how it's not. <laughs> it's that it's not easy. that easy. I believe there's a song out there that says "Pimpin' Ain't Easy," and it is not. <laughs> I believe you're right. Easy, <laughs> pimpin' ain't easy. These guys try to make it think, and it never works out. It's not easy. Don't think that pimp- to all you kids out there watching Night Shift, listening to this podcast, pimpin' ain't. Big, Easy. Big Daddy Kane he said, uh, <laughs> anything goes when it comes to hoes because pimping ain't easy. Now, Big but, Daddy Kane, we'd love to have you on the podcast. Come but on. They made the comment, though, that the pimps are taking 70, 80, upwards of 90%. Yes. Of- yeah. They're offering all the protection, though. It, that's a tough business, man. It's it's a doggy dog world out there, and these girls can't yeah, be out there on no, their own. But no. Medical insurance, no dental, no 401k. That is true. That yeah. is true. They're no not chicken offering. franchises. <laughs> How many girls were owning that one restaurant? That was <laughs> You're not getting much profit out of you're, that. Everybody's getting your dollar. Here's your dollar. <laughs> and were they working there, too? I don't like, think they were. Were, like, were, like, were, were they working their night shift job <laughs> smelling like chicken and stuff? Like they that. jumped over the counter to eat all the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Why are all your hookers 400 pounds? They've been eating the fried chicken. They can't make them stop. That's all they're eating all day. <laughs> Such a ridiculous, like, I don't know. Just It's uh, a ridiculous, but also a fun premise to yes, mock. It like, really is. We'll just become pimps. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Like, that's easy. Let's just do that. If it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. <laughs> Let's get some hoes and become pimps. <laughs> This movie starts off really dark too. It's like, not. It's, just, it's you know this because is, it's like before, even before the credits, it's just like you know you're just seeing like a guy being chased. Yeah, and this is a movie that, um, in the vein of like a Taxi Driver or something like that, where New York itself is part of the script. It's like gritty. New yeah. York is just so gross looking, and you're like, who? Who would live there? Like, oh my god! Like, and I love the deal. I, with these I love going to New York, but like, you watch this and you're like, is it like that every day? Like, who would want to go there? It's yeah. so gross looking. Oh. You know, Giuliani now is terrible, but man, he cleaned. He up. did clean sure, it up. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, he he did clean the did place. You see up. that thing that recently happened to him where he got hit in the back? No, <laughs> I'll take it off off air. But it's just like I don't know. What gets, that, I don't know. That he story. gets tapped on the back in some like. Grocery stores, some guy who's like, and he calls, like, the person just, like, taps him lightly on the back and calls him, like, an asshole or something like that. But, like, Giuliani acted like he was, like, assaulted. Like, and he's just like, <laughs> but it was, like, it was basically a love tap. So. <laughs> I like love taps. Yes, he does. 
<laughs> I'm sure Juliana loves them too. <laughs> um, can you guess who was the first build in this uh, movie? I mean, no, because I, I would say it's Henry. It has Wh- to be Henry. It's Winkler, not Henry right? Winkler. I was just seeing if you want to. Yeah, it is Henry. Oh, Winkler. Right. Yeah, I thought right. that was a, that yeah. sounded like a trick question. The way you were asking, I would um, think Ron Howard would have him build first. Well, yeah. Ron Howard must have. Oh, it, was was um was Ron Howard still on Happy Days when he directed this? This, so this is eighty two. This was the like, seventh season of Happy Days. I don't know if Richie was on okay. the seventh season. He may have been in the army. And Louis yes, Beth, him and Ralph Mouth went through was the album. Still on though, but I just wondered if this was like something that they were talking about on the set, and he's like, "Hey, I got this." Script I do and- know that um, Ron Howard first asked him to re- like he that was the first person he went to. Was oh, Henry so he did. Okay, all right, all right, cool. And uh, at first, uh, I think uh, Henry Winkler wanted to be. They wanted him to be the Michael Keaton character, sure, and he said he wanted to do something different. Because that was too and he did to something Fonzie. the exact you know what opposite I mean? so of what Fonzie was for sure. Um, he's he did a playing, great job. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah. Henry Winkler is great. Yes. Yeah, he's playing Chuck Lumley in this. Is his name, and uh, I've got his top four right here. If you, uh, if you, <laughs> where's Chuck? Want to see if you can guess it? Chucks or uh, Henry, or Henry Winkler? Okay. Hanks. Yeah, we'll call him Hanks. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it, it, if Happy Days is not in this top four, I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> Come on, you're looking too long. <laughs> There's only four to choose from. No, Happy Days is not in his top four. How can it not be? This no. is a stupid game. I don't even like this game. This is dumb. He was this in is... 255 episodes of Happy Days. But that doesn't get you in a top four. And you're going to be upset with something in his top four when I tell you. Well, I'm, I'm betting <laughs> uh, that. I'm betting that. Well, is Night Shift? Night Shift is not in his top four Night either. Shift is in his top four. Night Shift's in his top four. Okay. That's fair because this is like his <clears throat> first like movie that he did so that's that's but no he was in uh like lords of flatbush no first like mainstream yeah. kind of movie um something adam sandler water boy. or water boy or um, water boy is in his top four is it is it is cl- clicked in there too click is in his top four damn. and that's the one i knew andy would god be mad at. damn this <laughs> fucking game man i hate this shit then because that movie is fucking terrible. I the think Adam Sandler movie, movie clip? Yeah, with yes. the, the remote control. That was bad. That was oh, bad. my God. Very that is bad, so yeah. bad. Henry, Henry Winkler deserves better. And you know what? For that matter, Adam Sandler deserves better, too. <laughs> and Christopher Walken deserves better, too. <laughs> and it's probably in all four or three of their top fours. Oh. So you got The Waterboy, Night Shift, Click, and then there's a fourth. Barry? No, I was... Oh, oh Barry. Barry. Wow, I forgot about that. Good call. Rest of Development? So, rest of Development. Okay. Yeah. So but Barry is so good. This this last season was great. Uh, and and he's great in that. Henry Winkler's great in that. Oh yeah. Just uh And that's like the kind of thing like you haven't seen Henry Winkler probably since arrested. And then all of a sudden he shows up in Barry. You're like, nice. Like, what why don't people use him more? Maybe he does what he wants to do. He probably doesn't need the money, but yeah. he probably um, works when he wants to work. And yeah. That's probably an easy gig, eight episodes. He's only in half of them. Yeah, and, and like yeah. And he's just it's just a fun role that he has in it too. Just like, you know, like <laughs> yeah. It's like you see so many different sides of him in that movie. Like in that and well, at the end he became a bastard. Yeah. Fuck him. You got he Barry just, arrested. He just wants you to be okay, Andy. <laughs> That's what he's looking for. He just wants you to be happy. Do you have any um, personal connection to Henry Winkler? <laughs> Me and Henry, we go way back to when I saw him at uh, Wizard World in Philadelphia. Sweetheart of a man. And you got your picture taken with him. And he uh, got my picture taken with him, and he signed um, a Fonzie album. It was like not a – he didn't sing on it. It was like Fonzie picks – these songs it was like his really? juke bo- it was like his jukebox selection like songs and it was like songs from the 50s where did you it, find that album i found it at princeton record exchange there were all, all those albums came out back in the day yeah. like every kind of compilation and, uh, album you could put together he wrote on that album he wrote jason is cool <laughs> and signed it henry he, he didn't know him well <laughs> <laughs> but i got proof henry winger said i was cool <laughs> that is awesome <laughs> but um so the Fonz. He was in four episodes of Laverne and Shirley. I have that as well as Fonzie. Was that like right when they spun it off? I, I'm not asking I didn't you to know that. I'm just wondering if you know yeah, that off the top of your head. Like, head no, yeah. but did I, they bring him think, back like four I, seasons I think he might have dated Laverne the girls in one episode. Her didn't they, and didn't they date in 
Happy Days, right? Yeah. And I that's what they so. spun it off from. Yeah. He dated Laverne and Richie was dating Shirley. Right? I think yeah. I said Chachi. I mean, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean Chachi. I meant um, Carmine. Carmine. Big Ragu. The big Ragu just passed <laughs> just away. Just passed recently. away. Yeah. I was like him. He was great. The big ragu. He's a great voice too, singing and he would come and dancing all the time, remember? <laughs> you know he was a singing and dancing man. He was like this acting. He, bullshit. Yeah, he was like, like uh he did a lot of theater. He was uh, he always sang the song Rags to Riches. <laughs> <laughs> Up next we had playing Bill Bla Blaza Blazajuski. Yeah, Billy Blatz. Billy Blizzy Bl- Blazajowski. Blizzy Bl- Blazajowski, and that's Blizzy Bl- Blatz. Blatz, right. That's Michael Keaton. And I got his top four here as well. Would you like to get started on that? Spider Man. No way. I have here. No. How about Batman? Batman is in his top four. Night Shift. Night Shift is not in his top four. Mr. Mom. No, I was going to say Mr. Mom. Mr. Mom is not in his top four, but what? should be in that his top four. That should definitely be in his How top about four? going back to superheroes, Birdman? Full title, please. It is in his top four. I saw it. I liked it. I know that movie gets shat upon. but I have uh, not seen it yet. I Birdman do it. and the... Uh, it's fuck, actually Birdman it's... or... Yeah, then in parentheses, I'm, I'm not going to get the rest of the title. Yeah, Birdman or parentheses, the unexpected virtue of ignorance, close parentheses. Why couldn't I get that title? <laughs> I don't even know half those words. How was I going to get that title? That's a, I, I really like that movie a lot. I know that gets a lot of hate because I think it got a lot of critical love. Yeah. Wasn't that one of those movies? Isn't that the movie? It's one a, of those ne- it's a never ending camera. One, yeah, uh, just one, in one, one, one shot. straight shot. But it's got uh, Ed Norton in it. It's got it's got Emma Stone in it. You know what? I'm gonna put, that's, that's what best. I'm going to check out soon. I want to watch But it's that. one of those yeah. movies where I think a lot of people get disappointed with because he's doing a play. He had played Birdman in his past, like he had played Batman in his past, and now he's doing a play and um, he doesn't want to be known as. Birdman, because okay. that's his past, and he's trying to get past. Emma that. Stone is his daughter, and Ed Norton is his like protege. I think I, I honestly don't even remember a lot of what happened. Did you now. see it, Brian? No, I never saw it. Yeah, but it's it's a good movie. I liked it. I recommend Birdman or I, the Virtues. I, I definitely of one if it's on. I'm, I'm going to look for I, if I see it. Like if I'm scrolling through, you know, when you're scrolling through Netflix for 45 minutes. Yes, I do. Can't figure out what to watch. I hate that. Oh. Netflix should have like a th- oh. thirty second timer. You haven't found it yet? You, you just shut it out. Just it, shut the, you should have it set to something that's automatically going to start playing this if you can't find something. You know? I guess Netflix kind of like was aware of that. Now they have that thing like don't know what to watch. Push this button. I'm like you. You don't know what I want to watch. I, I, I'm I have not, not pushing that. Tried it? I, I have, have never tried pushed it. that button. I'm afraid of what they're going to suggest. And I don't want. Really I don't. Afraid. I don't want to do it and then have then it, like all of a sudden now there's always these things up there and I don't want that. I want to be able to just and do my thing. Andy likes French love stories. Like, no, he does not. How'd you put I that up there? I clicked that by accident. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Birdman and Batman. Oh, that's it? All we've so got far. is Birdman and Batman? Yeah, Mr. Mom's not one more. of them? Night Shift's not one of them? No. And Spider-Man's not one of them? No. Michael Keaton? Gung-ho? Yeah, oh, I was just about to say No, that. but oh, that's yeah. a good one. I like that movie. Oh, I have that God here, damn. Man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to think about this now. Michael Keaton... I don't think you're going to Multiplicity? Get, oh, 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 oh. Get another good movie. Beal, not Beal Juice? Another good movie, not in his not top four. Not in his top four. That has to be his most popular. I would think so, too. That or Batman, I would say. Or Batman, Mr. Mom, and, yeah, and Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice, yeah. yep. All right. It, give, give me a hint. Give us a hint. Hint <sighs> on each one. Hint. Obviously, actor, but. Croc. Eesh. Croc. K R O C, Croc. I don't get that hint. McDonald's. Ray Croc. The story of Ray Croc. Oh, that Croc. I was thinking of Crocodile, even though you the said the founder. K. That was the. Uh, oh yeah, he was in that he, movie. He was that. Yeah, that was. It was a good movie though. I'm I sure it was. It. I didn't watch it, and that shouldn't be in his top four. Did you ever say it? No, I liked it. Um, so the last thing he's got on there, pre or post 
1995. Post. Post 1995, then I have less of a chance of getting this right. Uh, uh, newspaper. Newsies. Something with like a pedophile priest or something Whoa. like that, I think. Oh, I oh, jo- think. Johnny Dangerously. I think. Oh, Johnny <laughs> Dangerously. That's a great one. I totally forgot about that. It's great that, movie. Though, Why is that yeah. not his top That's four? definitely pre-1995. I had, I had, He's not a pedophile I priest post, of that, is I did say post-1995. I don't know what yeah. this is. I don't think. A spotlight. I never watched. I think it's something about that. a pedophile priest. I could be way wrong. Yeah. But why isn't it Johnny Dangerously, <laughs> Mr. Mom, Batman, and uh, Gung Ho? <laughs> why isn't it Morbius? Is he in Morbius? Yeah. Oh, as the Vulture? Is the Vulture in so. Morbius? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he really? Wait a minute. Whoa. I didn't see Morbius. I Wait a minute. So the Vulture's Morbius. in spider man I, I don't know who he's playing in morbius well i'm assuming he's, he's gonna be it. playing vulture but is that now an mcu movie morbius is a it's a spider-man movie but is it an mcu movie i don't think it's part of the creative universe interesting i don't know about that i will never watch morbius i have heard nothing but terrible things about that movie as well yeah connor, terrible connor and brady don't say good things about they it. saw it yeah okay, yeah. yeah i don't want to i i still haven't seen the venom movies i don't know like or maybe brady didn't say it. maybe it sony and sony Karen. doesn't seem to know what to do with spider-man or his he's playing expanded Ad- universe adrian tomb that's vulture yeah. yeah okay so he's playing vulture in morbius yet it that's a, like that's a crossover it's a 5.2 on um Really? Yeah. That seems high. And also, I like, forgot to give, uh, really last awesome. week I did forget to give Last American Versions Rotten Tomatoes scores. Did you really? Yeah, because I got mad yelling about you guys not letting me get my score out, and I forgot <laughs> to uh, I forgot to get those. I make fun of you so much for your shitty production, but Jason as a host is terrible. <laughs> he does a great job. <laughs> so just, I, just I just want to put it out Can there. Can we edit now. that in? And uh, critics Because... Score. Critics gave it a 77, and audience gave it a 65. So oh. I thought that was interesting. 77 critics, 65 audience. That's less than American Virgin from last week? Yeah. And I was like at a 74. All right, so I'm right there. I'm right with everybody. Right right there. We're like right there. Too. I gave it the correct score as well. And my 92. 92. <laughs> Seems hot. Yeah. <laughs> You're allowed right. to your opinion. I All don't right. have a problem with you, oh, but yeah, I'm 92. No, but I'm just saying that seems high. Yeah, but it's still not as high as our uh, highest score on the podcast. Do you remember what that was? Yeah, 99.5, <laughs> I believe, for Greece too. Which is why sometimes, even if people are good on the podcast, they shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> Their score should not count. Oh, Dana, did you hear that? <laughs> She's got a handicap. Like We have to handicap her score like 60, 70 points. Honestly, I wasn't expecting her to say 99. She said 99, 99. and then she took a point <laughs> off and then said, because then the guy's point dick five. fell out, she gets a half point up or something. Oh. Yeah, well, I think she takes a point all for one of the songs right was oh, that yeah. it yeah or, the uh the then... max caulfield song <laughs> i don't even know what that means was oh, max caulfield the name of a character on the that show, was the, movie, or the, the actor the, uh, he's the actor yeah. rex rex manning from empire records, empire records yeah Which, that was a good movie i like that i like movie. empire yeah. records yeah. i'd like to have crease two stricken from the exciting new podcast which record. andy gave a 60 yeah <laughs> terrible <laughs> score yeah. That that is an indictment on me as a <laughs> reviewer of movies. Because I don't know, that he, movie is like. Did he drink 30. too much before? Did you drink too much before? Well, that is no? the only time we've ever actually watched the movie and then podcast. So I've been drinking for right, a yeah. long time before I gave that review, <laughs> and I was also looking at a bunch of weepy faces all in front of me that were like, "It's a ninety, we it's went, an eighty-five, and it's an like, eighty-two. I'm like, like yeah, can I'll we play board six. games? Yeah, can we I'll, play board I'll games? I'll give it a sixty because I don't want to hurt all your feelings, but it's really a 40 and if i was gonna be honest is a 30 <laughs> and that's saying greece the original is probably is there bigger than 100 <laughs> i love greece <laughs> greece 2 is terrible <laughs> fuck greece 2 up next we have playing belinda keaton which i thought was funny keaton huh shelly long plays belinda keaton like did they just not know how to like name somebody? They're like, Michael, <laughs> yeah. we really like your name? last name, Michael. So. Or was Michael Keaton still going by Michael Douglas at that point? He was Michael like, Keaton in this. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> that's his real name, Michael yeah. Douglas. 
Um, Shelly Long bought. plays Belinda Keaton, and I have her top four here. If you have a, guys have a, any chance of getting any of Troop these. Beverly Hills. I have no. She is that is uh, not in her top. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers is, better be on there. Yes. Oh, Henry Winkler didn't have happy days. So I mean, oh, God yeah. damn this thing. <laughs> oh, uh, that awesome movie with Tom Hanks, Money Pit. The Money Pit. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a good great movie. movie. Very great. Good and movie. she is awesome in that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, what's that one with Ringo Starr? Caveman. 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 Not great in her movie. top four, but again, another great movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have that down here. <laughs> Damn, I don't know if I know a lot of Shelley Long like like post cheer stuff. Um, I think there's at oh, least oh, 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 one oh, oh. more you should be able she's, to get. She's 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 um Mrs. Brady and Brady Boom. Bunch, and it's the very Brady sequel that's oh, in her top. <laughs> the Brady Bunch movie's not in the sequel. Is what's this based upon, man? Come on, I don't even know what the plot of the second one is, but the first one's great. Yeah, oh, the I, second I, one's with I, Rob Lowe in the I Hawaii. Enjoy both, they're both the Hawaii fun because yeah. they both have. Yeah. Shit from the original Yeah, the second button. one's oh, fun, just, yeah. but the first one is a great <laughs> oh, movie. Yeah. Yeah. And Gary Cole is phenomenal. Oh, he's oh, really he's good. so good. <laughs> and that's really the first time I really knew who he was, even though uh, I'd probably seen him already as like Lumberger in the office or whatever, or uh, yeah. office space. But um, yeah, that was the first time I, I really recognized him as, as good as he is. And now whenever I see him in something, I'm like, oh, how could I go wrong? He's Veep. so he's awesome. He's Veep. Oh, is he? I haven't gotten yeah. him in Veep yet. Oh, he comes in later season. He'll yeah, always yeah. be uh, cotton to me in uh, dodgeball. <laughs> cotton needs a new him pair of shorts. They're so good. <laughs> the other, uh, the, the other one. Uh, oh, the last are we not going to get it? Hello again. I don't. I don't even know what I don't that think is. I know oh, that, is that yeah. Robert Downey Jr.? I'm not sure. I didn't really look into it. Yeah, I think that's so. like um, what's this based on? What's the algorithm that gets these top four? I don't know what the top four is, but it's I know medical order. I like, know if you really have suck. IMDb Pro, you can change your own. But I don't know if there's any actor or actress really going out there to change their own, right? Like, yeah, did, that, did, did you want something? I thought I saw a person there. over there. That was Logan. I know. I know who it was. I have peripheral. What's up, movie. Logan? Oh, he's got something for us. He, he probably has something for us based on a. Um, so we mentioned the uh, caveman. Um, she's in a mo- upcom- a movie that's upcoming uh, for us as well during these uh, teen sex romps. Losing it, she's in. She is in it. losing it. That's right, and she's like the. Yeah, losing it's like Last American Virgin. Like I saw it a long time ago. I probably don't remember so anything but as it happens. It, I'll be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This I don't remember losing. Yeah, yeah losing's look, a good I one. I had a DVD of that if you want to do a, a, a live watch of that. And then the, so that's up oh, to you. Oh. You can do that. I mean, might be a little um, long, long day. <laughs> just of losing it. No, it's when we're doing just one a day, not like. Oh, back when we're back yeah, to the yeah, one yeah, days. Yeah. <laughs> when we get um, off our vacations and we can just do one day. I think oh. I mentioned this. Uh, she's in one episode of The Love Boat. Season one, we uh, did, did we do, get to that we one? Did oh, that yes, one. that's right. She was like a, a introducing kind of person. She wasn't in the portholes. Yes, yeah, she stuff wasn't. Like that. Yeah, um, and she's been in. Uh, she was on eight episodes of Modern Family as Al's um, uh, ex wife. Yeah, ex wife. Ex-wife, yeah, and then she died. Shelley Spoiler Long was. Alert. They didn't get like Kay Segal to be his ex wife on that. She was in an episode, was but she? she didn't play his ex wife yet. Yeah, that would have been funny if they got Katie Segal to do that. Though. I mean, sometimes that's a little too on the nose. Like, and I believe, uh, but that's David like the Faust- kind of nose you want to hit. David Faustino was in an episode. <laughs> was he? Nice. Yes. <laughs> and Christine Applegate said, "I am too big for." I can't this remember show. if she was in it or not, but she's definitely a lot. She's not bigger star. Yeah, yeah she so. she did movies. She did Anchorman. She did yeah. Vacation. So she doesn't have to do Modern Family. <laughs> but then I had uh, playing Charlotte Kugel, Gina Hecht. Do you know who Gina Hecht is, and who Charlene Kugel is? Is that the is that That's his Chuck's wife's fiance? Or his fiance? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know her from anything. Her top four I had here is uh, that TV show Dave. She was in 46 episodes of Mork and Mindy. She liked the downstairs neighbor or something like that? I think she was like a, uh, a friend or... Wow, yeah. okay. Um, Night Shift. And she was in an episode... Or she was in um, four ep- or f- three episodes of Seinfeld. Who's she was uh, George's therapist. Remember when they had the... Uh, oh, was that the thing on your lip? That yeah. thing? <laughs> she was Oh, wow, okay. 
<laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Yikes. She was also in uh, season four episode of The Love Boat, so we didn't get oh, to didn't that get there. one. Yeah. Maybe someday we'll get there, Kevin. <laughs> you all right over there? Smacking that, smacking it, whacking it, jacking it. She yeah. was in St. Elmo's Fire as well. I, huh? I didn't see what character or anything, but I thought that was fun. She wasn't one of the main six people in that. <laughs> she was playing a background Elmo's character. Fire. And, and I don't think she was fat. Like she kept of course saying, not. No. She was wearing like Plenty baggy of, clothes. The fact that she was always like so. trying to lose those last five pounds, but was it? Yeah, then six pounds at one point. I think that was a eighties thing. Just like women are always trying to lose weight. And then that whole scene where it is, she's on the bike and she kisses him, and they like doink, <laughs> doink. Um, up next was a uh, Clint Howard. Yeah, he, he was, was in it for a minute there. Jeffrey, he played, I saw him in the yeah. credits, and I was like, Clint Howard's gonna be in this, and then he yeah. was. I don't even remember now. He came up to the morgue. Did he have a body downstairs or something? That they he, had was to go the, no, he was high the, school. He kid. was the kid. He uh, Michael Keaton was renting out the uh, limo. Oh, oh, right. Yes, he was driving him for the prom. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he came back. He was uh, his fraternity. His fraternity. Yeah, the first, yeah. Well, the fraternity that had another famous fraternity brother in it too. Yeah. I think yeah. I'll let you get yeah. to it. I'm not going to spoil. It. I'm sure nah, you know fun, yeah. every person that you're going to bring up. I know you're bringing up. <laughs> I think you this is that kind of like, movie where you're like, oh. So, so for his oh. top four, you probably know some of his top four. Clint Howard? Yeah. <sighs> Gentle Ben. Gentle Ben, Austin yes. Powers? No. Really? I yeah, mean, that was a good guess, though, too. yeah. Waterboy? No. Not on Waterboy. Uh, my name is Earl? Nope. Is he the neighbor in that? I didn't. I, didn't well, I never watched that. My name is Earl. <sighs> I mean, he's in every... Yeah, Ron every Howard. Ron Howard movie. So yeah, can... think of uh, Apollo thirteen. He was think of Apollo, Apollo thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> think of Solo. <laughs> he's in Solo, so, and then there's a yeah his other. Wait, one. he's in Solo. Is that yeah. one of his top four? That's one of his Solo. top four. Yeah, I don't even remember him being in that. And he's also he in Rock and Roll High School. That's his other top four. See that poster right there? Yeah, you should be. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> bottom right corner. It's right him. It's him right there, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had him down as a. He was also known as the Smog Strangler. On oh, in Sunnyfeld, <laughs> yeah, right, yes, 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 yes. He's in the back of the car, in the back of the cop car, and they let him get away yeah, when they're no, in L.A. He's a notoriously generous oh my tipper. God, that's right. Yeah. Yep. When they get out of the uh, back. The door stays open, and he ends up getting out. When they're going to find Kramer. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, right, right. He's one of those guys, like, he's That's when the murderer strikes again, the murderer strikes again. They were all dancing in the... Ooh, At the top of the uh, courthouse, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, up next was playing Pig with uh, Richard Belzer. Oh, it's like, Pig? Who's the Pig? But it's so funny, because Richard Belzer has been in a million things. That he I did. have never seen him in because I don't watch whatever the and fuck LA Law or whatever it is. For a or, long time. Yeah, whatever too. that show is that he's CS. Oh, yeah. Law and what, Order. Whatever Law, it is. The Law and Order SVU. Never watched it. Never he's ever watched in, it. I don't know if he's still going or not, but he's been in 327 of the 517 episodes. And that doesn't even seem like enough because I feel he's been doing it for like 50 years. But at the years. same time, he also did. All 122 episodes of Homicide: Life on the Street. I think that's street. where it started. I think he started on that and then spun that character. And then off he's in things. Scarface. Yeah. And Species Two. I looked it up. He was not in Species One. <laughs> I know Richard Belzer from his days on the Howard Stern yep, show. Like he was always a big idiot. Howard yep. guy. And I mean, he's a stand-up. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's he's uh, Henry Winkler's cousin. Oh, is he really? Yeah. I did not know that. Wow. But I he feel there's like I feel there's like a something there's something out there that he was in in the eighties. I don't remember. I'm not like I'm not fishing. I'm just yeah. I feel there was something out there that because as soon as he popped up in this, I was like, oh, it's Belzer, and he's in the first. Scene. He's, he's right in the first scene, guys, but he looks yeah. like Belzer of that age. So I was just like, oh yeah, it's Belzer. Like cool. Like I have a feeling Andy's gonna know this next one. This might be one of the uh, people that you're saying that you know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you know him as soon as you saw him. Excited. Vincent Schiavelli. He plays Carl, the delivery guy. Hang on, Carl, the delivery guy. At the end. Oh, of the oh, 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 sure, 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 sure. He is. Um, get off my, get off my uh, train. Um, uh, 
the guy from Ghost. Yeah, the uh, big, tall, creepy guy. Guy, big nose. He's in. Um, he's one of those guys that's in everything. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, in Double O Seven. Tomorrow Never Dies. Ghost. The Adventures of Buckaroo Bonsai. Oh, fuck, yeah, across he's in the Buckaroo Eighth Bonsai. Dimension. Yes. Fast Times. Well, oh, he's their sign. He's the one that brings them like to the morgue, and they, they cut up the bodies when in Fast Times. Yes, of course. One flew over the cuckoo's yeah, nest. One flew over the cuckoo's uh, nest. The yep. Gong Show movie, which is a very good movie. If you is that the never one with that. Sam Rockwell as Chuck no? Bar- this is the one with Chuck Barris. Oh, Chuck Barris, nineteen eighty. Oh, I don't, like that. I don't know that. One. It's a okay. good movie. <laughs> um, Better off dead. Better off dead. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, he's like one of those guys that was in everything. Yeah, at one he point. had like over two hundred fifty. He's got that heads. look. Like if you're looking for a look, he's got that look. I think he. Died. I think he's married to an actress. Yeah, he, too. he died. He, he, was, like, he died dead. within the past seven yeah, years yeah, or whatever. Like pre-COVID, that, yeah. but mm-hmm. not much pre-COVID. Yeah. Like, but that was that one of the ones you thought? No, of? no. But when he showed up, I remember that, that he showed up late. Yeah, and that's the only scene he's in. Is and when he one. showed up, I gotta that's be honest. By then, I was like, huh. That's the one where Henry Winkler. Anymore, that's it. the one where Henry right. Winkler finally says, "No, give me the right yep. sandwich." Mm-hmm. You know, what and I mean? he was so unnecessarily tells, aggressive. <laughs> yeah, like he was so mad. He's like, he's like, "You 4K, here's your mustard." He just like wipes it. He's on like, the- "4K, you're 4K." He's like, "Yeah." No one was thinking about 4K in 1982. They were lucky they got 720 back then, and they weren't even getting 720. They were getting whatever's before that. How Four, about one of the 420? Did you notice one of the bluebirds? Yes, yes, of course. Which was, Shannon Doherty was go. beating up Henry Winkler in the in the uh, in the elevator you that as oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as soon as she appeared, I was like, "It was Shannon Doherty." Michelle's like, "No, it's not." I'm like, "That was Shannon Doherty." It? No, because oh, I would have so you know, gotten locked up, and it would have taken an hour yeah, for me yeah. to get back into it. <laughs> but uh, I mean, she was like twelve. But she was definitely Brenda Walsh. As soon as it I saw her, her, I was like, that is definitely Brenda Walsh. It is Walsh her right first. Um, is it her first ever acting yeah. credit? Wow. And, uh, do you want to give uh, her top four uh, <laughs> a shot or no? Uh, well, I, I would hope Beverly Hills 90210 is. Beverly no. Hills 90210 is in. Can you tell me how many of the 292 episodes she was in? <sighs> she got, she got she bumped late. There, yeah. So I'm going to say like maybe how many? 292? It was 292. She was in 200. Yeah. I'm going to say 120. 111. That early she got yeah. knocked out. Wow. 111. Yeah. That was close. That's I remember good. when I used to watch that show, you know, in my early 20s. I love that show. Yeah. When I heard yeah. all the problems with her, I was like, but that's not her because she's like a nice girl on this show. Like I couldn't, <laughs> even as a 20 year old, I couldn't yeah. separate yeah, the fact like, that like <laughs> she's a nice girl on the show. Why is she an asshole in real life? But like, she's an asshole get this. in real life. This isn't, this isn't, so, this isn't adding up. Real, I mean, like Shannon Doherty <laughs> yeah. in her top. Like what was she in that show? Charmed with uh, Charmed Milano is in her top four. Yeah, because I, I, huh? I don't know. I never watched <laughs> she, it. She but got I, knocked off that one. I, I, yeah, but I don't really know anything else witchcraft? she was ever in. Um, witchcraft, no. Unless you say Night Shift is her top four. So maybe. so far, you got Charmed and Beverly Hills nine and two and zero. Oh. She was in The Secret of Nim. I, I've cartoon. heard of that, but and I don't know. Uh, her number one. I don't know if it's the top oh, four. Oh, shit, shit, Go shit, ahead. shit, shit, mall rats. There it is. Yeah, yeah, I had to think about it. Yeah, yeah, mall rats, of course. Which is a great movie, yeah. by the way. And I I'm glad movie. I got it before you said it, because if you had said it, I so Dude, pissed at myself for not getting mall rats. <laughs> and the last one I have here is he played frat boy number one. And that's uh, Kevin Costner. That is correct. And he was definitely Kevin. Oh, I saw him in the credits, but I didn't. See him. I didn't recognize. Him. As soon as he popped up, I'm like, "Was that Kevin Costner?" <laughs> and then I looked. I'm like, "Damn, Kevin Costner's in this movie." And I don't know if that's his first ever. I don't. I don't role, know if it's his first ever role, but uh, he is I a ha- young. Kevin I do Costner. have his top four here. If Brian wants to give that a shot, I mean, that's up to Tin Brian. Tin Cup. Uh, Tin Cup is not in his top. Is it four. all baseball movies? It is not. All baseball, but is it movies. is it two baseball movies? There are zero <gasps> baseball movies in Kevin Costner's no. top four. So it's not Bull Durham or Field of Dreams in his top Field of four. Dreams. Bull Durham are not in his top four. Because there's yeah. the other one. I don't even remember what it's called. Where he pitches the, the no hitter. Tin with Cup wolves is or, not. <laughs> what's that? Running with wolves. Dances, Dances with, with wolves, wolves Dances is correct. Wolves. Okay. Yes, uh, that is in his top four. Untouchables. Untouchables, no. Fuck, man, that's a great movie too. How is that not in his top four? But I think he won the Oscar for. Did he uh, win? Un- Dance with Wolves. I think he won the Dance Oscar. Dance with for Wolves. That. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. The uh, Waterworld. Waterworld is not Postman. 
Postman is. That is a Postman is. That is a shitty ass movie. Waterworld also shitty, yeah, but the, should be in this top four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I at least saw Waterworld. Uh damn. Oh, uh not like Man of Steel, right? No. Because he's Jor El in that. I'm mean, not Jor El. Um uh uh whatever the uh Call it Carl, Ma Ma yeah. Ma Kent. Ma Kent? All uh, right. Yeah. Ma Kent? Pocket. Pocket. I'm saying a mock I'm, like, I'm like, it doesn't he, make sense. I'm like, I'm like oh, yeah, Pocket. Jonathan Kent. Jonathan no, Kent. No, no, not, no. Uh, All right, he's not top four. Uh, how many did we get so far? You just got the Postman and uh, Dances with Wolves. And uh, fuck. Oh, oh. And this better not be in there. What? <sighs> he's like the Browns general manager on um, no, draft day. Not. It's not not, not in his top four. Okay. Uh, yeah, do that was the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, right? and yeah. he like traded like fifty picks to move up to get the first guy, and somehow <laughs> still had picks to get the third guy. It was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I never watched uh, it. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Kevin Costner. Oh. You do know these two movies. I don't know. Good guy or bad guy? Good guy, probably. He's usually a good guy, right? Yeah. Um, oh, uh, with the the singer. Yeah. Oh, bodyguard. The bodyguard. Bodyguard, there, yeah. right. Oh, good job. Yeah, good job. Good. Very good. Um <laughs> never w- saw it. Whitney Houston. Yeah, I never saw that either. But that's uh I will I never saw it, but that's not yeah, when she covered Whitney uh, she covered uh, Dolly. Dolly yeah. yeah. Um what is his I'm gonna give it to you. Ready? Give me a hint. Give me a hint. You want <sighs> You're saying I know this movie. R H. R H. Uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. That is oh. correct. Yeah. God damn, man. We need to create our own website where we do a top five. Because why would you do top top four psychotic? Because everybody's ex- <laughs> expected a fifth one. Top five always is. And you, you do say, a top, you do top five, five or top ten. Yeah. You and don't do, you hey, do give it. me your top seven. <laughs> I mean, top four. You're like, don't you mean top five? No, top, top three four. would even be better. Top three would be better. Yeah. Um, we got to do a website, and it's everybody's top five, and they're legit top five. They're not this nonsense of Postman, not Waterworld, and <laughs> <sighs> Untouchables. No, he was awesome. I Untouchables, mean, yeah. And I, you got to have at least one of his ba- Field of Dreams has got to be I think in there. You know what you do? You do a top five, and then you have a boat, like a, a reserve. <laughs> In case the movie is like, you know what? I changed my mind. That movie doesn't hold like up. Like if you're Harrison Ford and you just can't have all the Raiders and all the Star Wars in there, you got to have. And every every top five movies, a bonus, and then an earring. <laughs> just for Harrison Ford. <laughs> he, gets the, he gets the Calista Flockhart earring. <laughs> he still wears it, too. It's insane. <laughs> he is like 100 years old. He's still, uh, look how cool I look. He's like, honey. Can he fix my It's so earring? funny because both my boys have earrings now, and they're 21 and 18, and it's cool because yeah, they're 21 nice. and 18. And we're all now in our 40s and 50s. None of us have earrings because it's not cool for that. But yet Harrison Ford, who is <laughs> an octogenarian, multiple plane crash How? surviving <laughs> pilot, has an earring. I want you to go into work tomorrow <laughs> with an earring. I, I want- put. I, you know what? It's funny. I put an earring in just yesterday. Just one to of the, see if the it was a area. scrap item, and, and one of the girls was like, "You want these?" I'm like, "Let me try it. <laughs> put it in." I can't believe it's still put. I mean, I haven't worn an earring in nice. So yeah, it didn't close I took my ears. I, mean. I took my earring out within a week of getting it, oh. and I can. St- I still have the whole. It's a scar. It'll never go away, and it bled. And the girl went that did it was just. But like, how many times not people would to like, have to get their ear re pierced because it closed up? I never did. You know what I, mean? I, I have uh, two in my left ear that will always be open, and then the third one that I got was with my buddy in college when we were both fucking way high, and he did it with like a bobby pin and a piece of carrot, and it took him hours, and it went through, and I got an carrot. earring in there, and it got <laughs> super infected, and I took it out, and every once in a while I feel the back of it, I'm like, oh, it still hurts. Like 35 oh, years man. later, I'm like, ooh, the back of my ear still hurts. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Fucking Anthony. Anthony, not, not, our, right, Anthony, not our Anthony. Not our Anthony. No, I was going to say Battlestar. Not Battlestar, no. You're lucky this time, Battlestar. <laughs> Different Anthony. Also another Italian. Italian. Well, um, so we get a story of a guy. Oh, uh, did you do the plot? Did I do the plot? It seems like it's been forever. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I think he did the plot in the beginning. It was a terrible plot. But. Yeah, because I said a mild mannered morgue attendant. Yeah. Oh, prostitute, right? We yep. already yeah, talked yeah. about how like risky and, business. Uh, and so he blah. finally ends up. Uh, he's on. He works day shift, and his boss comes in and tells him, "Hey, you move into the night shift. You got no say, basically." And he says, "Oh, who who's got my job now? Who's taking over for me?" And he shows him, and it's like basically he's like, "Hey, this guy's got your same last name as you." He's like. Oh yeah, he's my nephew or something. <laughs> it's like that was really. And shame. that guy was a piece of shit. His nephew. Oh yeah, Watch, he wasn't doing anything. When he was singing the Flintstones, like <laughs> I got it right here. Something in my notes. wrong with this? I got guy? it right here in my notes. <laughs> Borny Rubble, what an actor! What an actor! <laughs> Mel Blanc. The first note I have is, hey, kid, you like music? But I'm not even quite sure why I wrote that down. It was funny at the time when I was watching it. I wish I remembered why that was funny. I think it was when Michael Keaton first comes up and he's singing Jumpin' Jack Flash. Like He's like, Jumpin' Jack Flash. Get, get, get. Like, How about just when he like, shows up? Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's before you even see him. The door oh, is right, there. Yes. And you just you see, see the, the silhouette. silhouette. Yep, yep, yep. And... Yep, 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 yep. and Nobody does this better than him, but opens a door and he's just on fire. Yeah. You Michael know what I mean? He was a like, little, a little much in this. Oh, I, he's I, way too much in this. I, I agree with listen, you there. Listen, he's, yeah. he's like Beetlejuice level of too much. Exactly. When, he, when he's Beetlejuice. You can see Beetlejuice yeah. in this When he's movie, Beetlejuice, you? you're like, you okay, pl- like as a human being, like no human being acts like this. <laughs> <laughs> he was super excited. It was funny for like five minutes. And then I was he like, walked is he going to be like, this the whole time? Who's that, your wife? Blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> he was everywhere. He was all over I got everything. my tape recorder. I record ideas. Another good idea. Another good idea. Another good idea. Here, right here. <laughs> Edible paper. <laughs> and another one. Feeding mayonnaise <laughs> to tuna. tuna. Yes. <laughs> Feeding mayonnaise to tuna. <laughs> Oh, man. And when Henry Winkler says, feeding mayonnaise to tuna, when he gets so mad at him. <laughs> what was his message to him on his tape recorder? This is just Chuck. Shut, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Would you just Bill, shut this up. is Chuck. Bill. Shut up. Bill, please just shut up. And he's just up, playing Bill. it over and I over again. To, I'm going to really need you to shut up, Bill. You do a good Henry Winkler. Yeah, yeah, I've, been working, like, I've been working Henry on Winkler. that one. My Henry Winkler with your Gavin McLeod with... <laughs> with uh, Brian's. What do you got? I don't have a voice. We got to get you one. I used to be able to do Hank Hill, but let's hear it. I would have to practice. Give it a go now. Because <laughs> it's almost like I doing a not, Mr. Uh, Anderson. Damn, damn it, Bobby! Sure it's like, it's like, damn it, Bobby! Yeah, there you go. That's yeah. a good one. Gosh dang it, Bobby! <laughs> All right, you got to work <laughs> on that, but it's yeah. a start. I, I used to be able to do it really well. Well, like I said, I put you on the spot there. You said you haven't done it in a while, so that's <laughs> yeah, on me. I apologize for that. I'll, I'll just substitute that in with the real <laughs> Hank Hill. It'll Makes sound, it sound perfect. Sound He's like, did he say, who is this a, a full like a uh, a full like three minute speech? Hank Hill does. It's just like, wow, that's great, man. I don't remember Brian saying all that. Do you? I got to be honest with my notes are all over the place. You have no idea. It's all one paragraph. It, 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 look at this. It's all one big mush, but most of it is like already the people that you've talked about. Shannon Doherty, Kevin uh, Costner. I got a little bit of uh, notes back here. Like, I we have. Really, we didn't really talk about the movie yet. No, though, no, like, no. It, I'm not uh, trying to okay. rush us through. I'm just saying like, it, it's now just a question of like, if you bring up a scene, I'll be like, oh yeah, that scene was great. <laughs> I got, do got a couple of things I'd like to bring up that were fun. I, but yeah. I looked up the car that he bought because I didn't recognize that car. What was it? It's a Stutz. A Stutz? Who makes Stutz. that? That's who that made was it. Stutz is the, the Stutz maker? Stutz is the maker. Yeah. It was, I forget the the actual name of the car. but Is that an American car? <laughs> like, yeah, I it, think so. I think it was made in Detroit. It was a I car wonder, brand. I mean, I guess that's definitely not around it's anymore. It's not around anymore. Yeah. One I of mean, the things I noticed in this. When he was like, giving the finger to the cop. <laughs> <laughs> when Shelly Long didn't have the makeup on. She looks so much better than when she had the makeup oh, on. Yeah. Like when she came the to his door the was, first time, the when she was have like make- almost clown. It is right. Cl- like I don't get why hookers think like clown makeup is like a good look. <laughs> high heels. You're just they're just to- gonna mess it up. High heels totally work. They're just but like after makeup. Anyway. You know what's funny about makeup? Like just before <laughs> before we started this podcast tonight, Michelle and I were watching uh, Batman. Uh, Michael Keaton Batman. Speaking of Michael Keaton's top four, right. that was Batman in his top Batman four. Batman and Birdman <laughs> okay. both were in there. Uh, but Kim Basinger, Bassinger, whatever I don't know her name how is, you're saying she's that, so hot, and she's wearing like no makeup in that. No makeup. Her, at one point, she's tapping her fingers when she's waiting for Batman to arrive at dinner. 
and no, short nails, no, yeah. no fingernails, no makeup, and she is so hot. And that made me actually think about like Shelly Long. Like Shelly Long's really attractive in this with no makeup on. And Shelly Long's attractive. And I get like she's playing a hooker in this. She, that's not her yeah. usual look. But like when she's wearing all the makeup, I'm like, who who's this look for? Like, I guess if you're just a old fuck looking for a blowjob, that that's something you're into, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. Uh, what did I want to say about this? Oh, um, in a 2019 interview with Hoda Kopi Co- and Hoda. Kathy Lee Gifford, Hoda when queried Bobby. about who his most annoying co-star was, Henry Winkler admitted that it was Shelley Long. <gasps> really? That's pretty much what all the Cheers people said as well. The reason Winkler gave was that she would stand in the frame wrong so that she towers over him instead of making it look like they're the same height. Well, is that her fault? He's just short. Yeah, he's jealous of that a little bit, but hey, man, I'm Team Henry here. I don't know, man. That sounds like... Fuck you, Shelly Long. Fuck her for being tall? (laughs) There you go. No, for being a dick, because even the Cheers people said it, and Sam Malone was a lot taller than Shelly Long. Sam Malone's huge. Yeah. I, I don't get why that's I don't want thing. anybody messing with my Ted dancing. Oh, Ted dancing. Oh, Henry. not Wait, my Ted you're, dancing. You're team Ted and Ted Henry. <laughs> team Henry. Um, <laughs> but I'm not team Ted when it comes to Susie on Curb. curb. <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> and which and he call, shouldn't be dating uh, his real, Cheryl either on and his Curb. Re- that's what I'm saying. His real life wife oh. is. Oh, um, uh, his real life wife is on there too. Um, whatever her name is. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I can't remember right now. From well. Step Brothers and uh, yeah. uh, all that stuff. <laughs> but, um, oh, God damn it. I'll just add it in. I'll nah, add it don't. in in my uh, Hank Hill voice. It's much better when we don't know what to, <laughs> when we sound like we don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, because then people are all three of our fans that listen to this <laughs> Kevin, Dana, and uh, somebody else. I don't know. There's somebody. One person. There's usually one person that I'll give that one a listen. Yeah, who are Anthony, these, people, who are these Anthony, people that have time to listen to podcasts? Anthony says he listens to us. He's a liar. Just keep an eye out on uh, listens from uh, Colorado. The Colorado. <laughs> we have an Metro amazingly area. large number of listeners from from India. Still, we have the India Every conglomerate. Week we have Indian v- listeners. Those are all bots, right? I mean, like, there's no way there's real people in India listening to this. I, 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 well, one of the the platforms is an Indian podcasting platform so, so. so is that good they had no, very good yeah. no they have to download it probably for quality control just download the first 500 <laughs> podcasts that come through uh, if any of our download, indian vis- listeners uh yeah post on yeah, we think we have jason i know a lot of indian people living in new jersey none of them listen to the podcast so i don't feel good <laughs> about the indian would, people living in and none India. of them would have any interest and yeah. listening to the this I mean, uh, podcast. They although no. maybe it's an expat. Maybe India is behind on their entertainment. They're just getting 1982 movies now, so they're like, "Hey, I just watched <laughs> Night Shift. I'll listen <laughs> to a podcast on that. It's new in the theater. That's possible. I don't think that's the way things work anymore, right? Like movies are in like India and China, like the day after they're here. I I know he's talked we about this before. I wish them, they man. had movies like. I wish movie theaters played a lot more old movies like this. Yeah, like, wouldn't it be no fun money to, just, to me? But wouldn't it just be fun to go in and do like, oh, it's five dollars and you get to see Night Shift this week? Or, it's, that's a great it, idea, except I don't think that makes money. Like you've got to. But I'm fill saying you have, those theaters. I'm just saying that's Thor just one, and but you have your theater, but there's that, and, the one theater, the one screen the one is for this down there. Yeah. And you know what? Now that weed is legal in Jersey, you could be a sell weed behind the counter. That'll bring people in, but you can't smoke in no no edibles and, oh, edibles and oh, then the edibles yeah that's a good idea do yeah. a bunch of shows but, and then I have to get like a fire hose to get everybody out of there like two hours <laughs> later like get the fuck out dude come on hey. man We're just no waiting for the post credit scene bro <laughs> night shift does not have a po- night shift didn't have a post credit scene right actually <laughs> Andy <might> surprise <laughs> it had multiple ones right. <laughs> Did uh, it? did it? Yeah. Wait a minute. It had as the credits were rolling, then the little black box would come up, and it would do something, and then the other side of credits I would didn't come see up. It. I just thought it was over. Would come up. I waited a few seconds too. I thought I didn't. I, I, I didn't don't remember see that at all. Was it like talking, or was Maybe it just it was like, another show I watched? Like, are you thinking Cannibal Run? <laughs> were there bloopers? <laughs> was Dom DeLuise in it at the end? 
<laughs> I thought it was one of the one of the movies we I'm just sure recently so. watched. Last American Virgin definitely ended with him just, just driving, crying, driving, right? yeah. and Porky's was the scene where, like, they were doing the thing with Pee Wee getting laid, and they were running the credits on the one side of the screen, and the bus was on the other side of the screen. Oh, maybe it was Porky's. Zapped. I don't, I don't remember. Exactly. Zapped. I don't think there was a. Yeah, I'll I'll look again, and then I'll just comment, and then just do that in Hank. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's going to be a voice in there going So, <laughs> what did you think of uh, how quickly uh, Winkler decided? To, uh, it way t- too quickly. Yeah, but it also felt like it was way too long into the movie before yes. they got into the, plot the whole. Took, it, it almost seemed like they're like, we're never going to get there. And once they got there, like, we got to get this movie over. It definitely seemed that that was. They were getting too away long. with stuff way too much, too. <laughs> like, it was like. A little, yeah. The plot was pretty dumb. Um, did you know that one of the call girls was Drew Barrymore's mom, Jade? I did not know that. Yeah. Did you know, looking at my notes, that the uh, the main hooker that wasn't Shelley Long, her name was Lupe. I do, yeah. And her name in real life was is my sister's name. <laughs> yeah. When the credits started rolling, I saw Becky blah 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 in the credits i'm like wait what and then i had to look her up i'm like oh that's lupe okay she's dead now unfortunately that uh, did she die young sister, or young enough i mean probably like our age now like 50 something uh, yeah. or i was two. looking up some of these like people that. a lot of like those 54 year old heart attacks and mm-hmm. stuff like that yeah, a lot cocaine's that, yeah. a hell of a drug man it's all drug related and also one other two others there's two other secret special guests in this movie two others i don't know if i'm ready to give them now all right i'm going to tell you that john belushi was originally offered the role of bill thank god he turned he it down oh wait john belushi yeah. I, I, my brain went to jim yeah. belushi i was like john belushi was offered this role wait, he turned 1982? It down. was he still alive in 1982 <laughs> he turned it down he later died while night shift was in production <gasps> kurt russell and mickey rourke mm-hmm auditioned mm, kurt russell would have been not too shabby yeah mickey rourke not funny enough. i think mickey rourke would have tried to be too serious yeah, with mickey it, rourke's yeah. not funny enough but M- kurt russell would have been good in that role and mickey rourke just came out in the news or something just like trashing tom cruise for no reason were they ever in a movie together no but he's just like yeah i could have done that movie or they like, talking like stop it dude like, dude you're at the pl- I, know, how do you I don't pl- even like tom cruise he but i'm at, like stop it he was at the Rourke. height of his movie career and he decided to just quit to become a yeah. boxer like yeah, that guy like- <laughs> <laughs> whatever <laughs> um do you know who plays the angry saxophone in the subway i know oh i do know michelle actually told me that as we were watching, like, she must that have was looked in the so credits. obnoxious, was yeah. it not? <laughs> and he had like the obnoxious. begging can right on the end of his sax. Yeah, that was Rob uh, Ron Howard. Yeah, yeah. and uh, that he pulls out his checkbook because <laughs> yes, he threw change in there, and the guy didn't leave, and then he took out his checkbook, but then he cut but away. He was playing normal at yeah. first, and then he put the uh, change in there, and then it was like, then it was like. <laughs> oh man. But he wrote a check. I didn't get like who's doing <laughs> Maybe two forms of ID back then for that, right? I mean... <laughs> Can you write that to cash? Like or bum? I write that to bum. Guy outside seven <laughs> eleven. So um at the I don't know. I mean, we're not breaking this. Like, it felt like some of these movies you break down scene by scene. I don't think this is a scene by scene movie. So I'm just gonna no, like I mean catapult. We, we got- we got the gist of it, you know. They start the more uh, the uh, doing the um, prostitution prostitution ring out they of. They go the to morgue. Kevin Costner's fr- fr- Kevin Costner's fraternity comes to the morgue, and <laughs> they're leaving some of the girls. Jeffrey in the, uh, is in that box. fraternity as well. Clint Howard is yes. in okay. the same fraternity as. Well, that's how we knew that Kevin Costner. Th- th- those guys were good because through having Michael Keaton. How about the, the scene prom, when yeah. uh, when. Uh, Belzer and uh, the other uh, pimp come in there, to, or the guy come in there, and they like they beat up Winkler and they tie him yeah. to, the, uh, to the table or whatever, and it's spinning <laughs> when the cops there, 
and it's just slowly spitting as <laughs> gunfire is going across from both ways. It's just going across, and Harry Wick was just spinning around slowly, <laughs> just spinning and spinning. <laughs> that was so that I was really uh, that made me, as you said earlier, that was one of my guffaws. Guffaws, right there, yeah. yeah. Okay, that was good. That was a good scene. Um, at the end of the movie, when when uh, they've all broken up now and. Shelly Long is working at some kind of massage parlor place with the pool. Oh, yeah. And everything yeah, yeah. like that. Um, the guy that owns that place, the guy that runs that place, is the mob boss in Rocky, the one that hires Rocky to break fingers and stuff like that. As soon <laughs> as they saw his face, I was like, I know this guy from something. That's the guy where and Henry Winkler says, You got a gun, and that's when they. He pushes him he in push the water him in the at the end, yep, and then yep, they run, yep. right? But he is, he is the guy that, like, when Rocky, in Rocky won, is like yeah, I still exactly collecting collecting about. mob yeah. stuff. He's the guy that like tells him like to like beat up people, and the guy's driver is like making fun of Rocky, and Rocky's like jawing back and forth with the guy, and he's like, "Would you both shut the fuck up?" Like he is, <laughs> that's him. He's like the mob guy, and you know, you anyway. probably don't know that. I never saw. Rocky. I think he, I think he was in Rocky two also in but a you, lesser role. But you but didn't like, start till Rocky three. <laughs> It's weird when you start a franchise three movies in. Uh, but I think you should definitely go back and try and, and watch the first four. And there is also one more sneaky cameo in this movie. Another guy who, as soon Ooh. as I saw him, tell me who it Michelle is. Don't tell me who and I both, first. Michelle and I both were like that Leonardo DiCaprio meme from um, uh, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, where he's staring at this screen like pointing. That's Leo yeah. like point. We were both like, oh. It's that guy. Oh, it's, it's at that place. It's hit? at that place at the end, the brothel place. And they walk in. There's like a bouncer type guy that doesn't let him in right away. They have to like get by the bouncer guy. Yes. Yes. That guy. He's somebody. He, he is in one other movie in a prominent role. Ooh, Brian. <laughs> no, prominent. I, 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 I don't know. Nice. Prominent's the right word. He's only in one scene in that movie too, but his uh, equipment is prominent in that movie. Nah. Who is it? It is Mick the Dick from Bachelor Party. The guy that put his dick in the in yeah. the, the hot dog roll and the mom was like grabbing it. <laughs> he is like the bouncer at that place. And as soon as I saw him, Michelle too, as soon as Michelle and I saw him, we're like, oh, it's Mick the Dick from Bachelor Party. <laughs> Now, did that and already air? Did we already? I think Bachelor Party is right? after yeah. this. No, I think Bachelor Party okay. is after this. But like, he <laughs> also has like a one line, like, you guys can't go in there. Like, that was it. That's all he had. Like, he was just a, a nothing extra in this, too. But he, like, just like Millie when we did uh, Last American Virgin last week, like, yeah. as soon as I saw that face, I was like, oh my God, naked gun. Like, some people just have a look that you <laughs> never forget. And yeah, that, Mick the Dick Definitely, had that yeah. look. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I would have I would have uh, recognized no, that one. I mean, you have well. to like. I mean, I've I've seen the movie. I know who you're talking yeah, I mean, about. Bachelor but Party I was my jam back in the old days. That was I love that movie. Did you see that? I did see Bachelor. Okay. It's been a while. That better be, that. Tom Hanks has done a thousand movies. I bet that's still in the top four. That's going to be coming up on our. Uh, you uh, said it's. I don't know. Up, I right? don't know when Bachelor Party is, but it's definitely it after Keep 1982. I'll look that up real quick. See. What oh, I'm I'm going to say 84 ish. When's Bosom Buddies? Bosom Buddies are probably like this time, 82. So You think it's 82 or 85-ish? Is that late? Bachelor really? Party's 84. <laughs> Bachelor Party's 84. I said 84. Yeah. So yeah. then, yeah. And Bosom Buddies bo- was... Bo- Bosom. 1980. Damn. That early? Wow. 1980, Jesus yeah. Christ. Wow. That doesn't seem right. Peter Scolari died, right? Yeah, he Last just died year, recently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he had COVID. He, it was during or, the or COVID. Or Super AIDS. I forget which one. <laughs> He had super feline age. He had monkey pox because <laughs> that's a thing now. <laughs> they said that's much harder. So, to try. like you he have to sleep- fuck a monkey to get it. So he <laughs> sleeps with uh, Shelley Long, even though he's engaged, and then she comes to the prison after he. I'm I'm really jumping through this movie that's really fine. fast. Again, this yeah. doesn't have a deep plot. It's kind of yada yada. How much yada. time have we talked on this one, roughly? Would you say a lot over an hour now? Oh, oh this really? Yeah. Wow, it doesn't seem. I like didn't it. think we talked about an hour. And once we add in my Hank Hill stuff, it's going to be like <laughs> an hour and a half. I think it's bad for him to ask how long we've been talking. Next time, you should just go like. Oh, I'm do but numbers. he doesn't understand when I say that. I know. I know. 
then he thinks he's counting down again. Next thing you're going to hear the horn, <laughs> the boat horn's going to go. But tomorrow, uh, tomorrow he'll text well, us. You know what we should do? We tomorrow should, he'll text us. Say, oh, we should I get was a little the whole day we were podcasting, not just this. Morning. I'm going to get it like a little timer like thing so we could put it here and every time we start an episode i don't think we have to worry about time if it's a 30 minute or a four hour one it's what it is it is what it is brian so stop it you can always look <laughs> at the screen too oh yeah you can see that right from here i can see hold on <laughs> especially me I didn't where get, are your brand new glasses i, I think they're coming in tomorrow oh. they said seven to ten days tomorrow's ten days jason's like, gonna be able to see through time Ooh. Mm-hmm. he'll tell us what if the i could is. turn back time i don't want the back i want the future tell me who's winning I the super give bowl it year. all to you if the giants won the super bowl this year you just wink be like <laughs> it's your year i'm just going to win. vegas i just want to wink i don't want i don't want like dude this it's like this get the car <laughs> Where Zor's when he said, get the birthday card back. Get the birthday. Pope flies. <laughs> Pope flies, baby. <laughs> using baby again? <laughs> That's my baby. Um, that was a lot of most of my notes. but uh, So he ends up with Shelly Long in the end. Um, kind of all, i mean but, like they don't end up as a couple he just they run out of the brothel place with the three of them and that's kind of it i right? think they're together they run off into they're the, together because they run off into because the she didn't want to work anymore about business ideas yeah and, yeah but they're definitely gonna have uh because then he gives he even gives uh michael keaton his jacket <laughs> that's right because he left the he's, place like naked. he's like i'm cold he's like i'm cold because he was cowboy in his toga, he was yeah. cowboy in his uh tars was he in tarzan, tarzan. oh right because he <laughs> swings in yeah and he falls from like a ridiculous <laughs> distance uh. that set looked so dangerous <laughs> didn't it i mean it was just like that stunt man really hurt himself when he landed when that guy Ooh. was in the toy, he's like i'm not getting out of here with no towel oh the fat guy in the, pu- in the pool right yeah, yeah. <laughs> i wouldn't get out of it pu- if i looked like him i wouldn't get out either and i look like him <laughs> My score is this was a fun movie. I enjoyed it. It wasn't the funnest movie, but it was a fun movie, and it was fun that it was free. But I like Henry Winkler. I like Ron Howard. I'm a big Michael Keaton fan. You can't go wrong. Um, lots of laughs. Lots of silliness. Uh, don't go into this movie thinking you're getting the, uh, you know, Academy Award winning. Was uh, was Keaton nominated for Birdman? I think he won for that. Did yeah. he win? Yeah. I think okay. So. And um, but yeah, my score for this is a uh, seventy. I'm glad to hear you say that. I was getting a little nervous. You're going to go way high on this. I, I this was fun. It was fine. I I think I had going into this a level ex- expectation that I was like, I, I probably saw this in the '80s and never. I I never. I haven't seen this movie in all all these years. So I was like, oh yeah. Henry Winkler, Michael Keaton, Night Shift, Ron Howard. I'm going to yep. love this movie. Clint Howard. And I did not love this movie. It was okay. I laughed a couple times. Mm-hmm. A lot of the times I was like, come on, let's just get on with yeah. it. Um, I'm going to say 60, and that's not a bad that's score. That's equivalent to Grease uh, 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 2. Grease is a 40 or a 30. I forget what I dropped Are it you to. retracting? Uh, is that, is oh, that, Grease is that, has been tra- retracting. Or redacting? Retracting, I'm redacting and retracting <laughs> that. Grease is a 30. This is a, a 30. 60. Or Grease 2. Grease oh, Grease 2. two. Grease he 1. He did say is, Grease. Gre- grease yeah, 1. Yeah, lucky like Brian came in for you there. because You like, were almost on record as saying Grease is a 30. No, Grease uh, 1 is a 99.5. It would get the 100 if I saw John Travolta Schwanz pop out, but I didn't. Uh, so it's a 99.5. <laughs> I wonder what, but, what Dana's score would be. But this is like a 60. Like, <laughs> this was good. I don't think I'll ever watch Night Shift again. It didn't have that kind of appeal to me. Yeah. I like everybody in it. Everybody directing it's it. Shelly Long. I got a problem with her, man. I don't. No, just kidding. I was doing the. I mean, she's Kyle Henry Winkler thing because she did. I was. That's joking. weird. I know. We have to have Henry Winkler and uh, Shelly Long on the podcast at and the discuss, same time. Man. Discuss your we'll hatred do, we'll for each other. We'll do like the. Uh, like, oh, Henry, <laughs> like Jerry I Springer. Like we we'll have spring, a surprise we'll guest for you, one mo- <laughs> Henry. We have Shelly Long on the podcast. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Uh, Brian. 
Uh, well, I was going to do 60, but I'm, I'm going to do 61. Ooh. Dude, we can ha- have the same score. That's what I was going to say. There's no rules to our scores. But no, it's too late. 61 I, is I down redacted a score from a month ago that I've <laughs> undone and lowered. He so could go over there and watch Grease 2 again, possibly. And lower my score even more. It might be a 15 by the end of the night. He just came and, over. And that's just, a, high, that's a watching, strong 15. He was watching minute 14 over and over again in a loop. <laughs> like, look at that guy. <laughs> Schwantz just come bouncing all over the place. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, next week, what do we Wait, got hang on. Up? Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, Rotten Tomatoes. Good call. Sorry, this man. Guy's I getting him on track. Yeah. That's what a good getting... co-host does. He keeps the host on track. Um, would you like the audience or critics first? Critics. Yeah, I'm going to say the critics scores higher. Critics gave this movie a 92%. Wow. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. It's too high. I thought so as well. Too high. Isn't that insane? Damn. 92 percent like was this the first comedy of the year i mean like that, is that's, it because that's ron howard like yeah is it just like a lot of love for ron him, howard henry guess, winkler you know? and listen i love you ron you know oh, listen i i'm not trying to shit on yeah. this movie they all did better things after this they oh, all course, did better things course, after yes. this they were in stranger things no i'm just kidding he said better things you see what i did there brock that was good right. <laughs> um the audience score 63 percent oh see that so that's that falls around, more in yeah. line that makes yeah. more sense but like not i thought that was a big difference to 63 <laughs> and 92 though. i know we've had this discussion before yeah. and i don't think we've ever resolved it and i don't want to resolve it now and probably never resolve <laughs> it but like that critic response the critic score is that from 1982 is that like gene siskel and roger ebert and yeah gene i don't know I, I don't i don't know if there's com- like a, a critic coming in from like 2020 like just hey man i just graduated college and they're like i'm doing that's reviews. just like me man i'm i got prostitutes in my apartment right now and i think like an audience score from a movie 40 years ago is probably taking people from today Scoring it, and probably a lot of people today are like, "This movie does not hold up." I mean, and it's, it's not people a that kind of are movie. not appreciating that this is a movie that they don't happened care about before, Henry Winkler. They this don't is care a movie that Howard. happened before another movie that they saw this in already, right. and it's that's that movie. They're like, did they take all the risky business things and exactly. make it their own? And <laughs> exactly, and that's why we've been the exciting and new podcast. We can be found on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Spreaker. TikTok and no religious wars, according to Andy. Oh, what? bring him on to me personally. AE Gonzo one, bring him to me. I am the Jazu on Instagram, Jazu seventy four at Twitter. I forgot to say I'm Jason. I'm Andy, and I'm Brian. Yeah, there you go. Papa Bear, Papa Bear, Papa Bear, Papa Bear Kevin. Kevin. We'll help him out. <laughs>